You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about what is coming to NBA 2K23 tomorrow and just kind of you know what to expect. Now, here's the deal, guys. We're getting glitch content tomorrow, and we've got three leaked what are gonna be diamonds. But we also got a pink diamond. Now that 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 that, that brings up the question, okay, Ty, is that all we're gonna see? And I think so. I don't expect two pink diamond two new pink diamonds in my team. I just think that would be too ridiculous for a Tuesday drop. But I'm I mean, look, who knows? By the time this video comes out, maybe there is another pink diamond that is released. And hey, if that happens, then it is what it is. But we're gonna be going over what we know tomorrow. Starting with the diamonds and then getting to the pink diamond Hakeem Elijah. Now, before we dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button as we're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. So here's what I like to do. I like to go over what I think these cards are going to be like stat badge wise, as well as talking about, you know, their, their you know, their, their dribble sigs, their releases, those types of things. Now, if you have these players or have locked in these players, or if you want to see what their release is like, just go into shoot around and, and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, Gordon Dragic, okay. Gordon Dragic might not be the most hyped up name for tomorrow, but we got it. He's 6'3, okay. He's going to have a 6'6 six, six wingspan, which is absolutely incredible. To kind of combo that up to go along with it, okay? The guy is, uh, you know, he's, he's probably going to have a decent release, decent player model, you know, decent dribble six. The problem that I think Gordon Dragic is going to have is going to be on that defensive end of the court. Now, I could be completely wrong. That could be me. I guess we'll see. But right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go shoot around with him and see what he is going to be like. Now, here's the deal, okay? The tweet says that Gordon Dragic is a ruby that... Evo's to a defensive glitch Jordan Gordon Josh. Now, why does that get me excited? It's because I just got done saying that's gonna be the weak part of the card, right? That's gonna be the part of the card that I'm like, eh, you know, I just don't know if Gordon Dragic is gonna be great. But if that is solved, right? If the defensive part of Gordon Dragic is solved, then what else are we honestly worried about? Okay? That that that's the question I would have is if it, if the part of the card that I was saying was not good was the defense, and now that's solved. What, what do we got to worry about? His release, one of the smoothest jump shots in all of 2K. And you guys can say I'm gassing it. Go shoot with the car. It is literally so quick. It's so easy to time and so easy to green. I'm telling you guys, Goran Dragic's release is it. And he's going to have defense, as well as being 6'3". I just have a hard time seeing Gordon Dragic not be good in my team. Now, maybe I'm gassing it. Maybe it'll actually be him uh, or not be him. That's what we'll have to figure out. Ja dribble style is not bad. His release lights out. I mean, there's a lot to like about Gordon Dragic. I'm just throwing it out there. Don't be surprised when tomorrow I'm really hyping up Gordon Dragic because this card's dribbling is going to be it. Uh, at least good enough in his release is immaculate as well as having good defense. Gordon Dragic is going to be elite in my team. That is our first diamond. And expect him for budget ballers to be our first budget point guard. That is actually it in my team because he's going to be really good. The next guy we got to talk about, okay, is Joe Ingles. Now, for Mr. Joe, I don't necessarily know what to expect because, I mean, there's a couple of things to look at, okay? The first thing is that Joe does get, uh, you know, he, he gets into an athletic Joe Johnson. So expect his driving dunk and stuff to be really solid. Now, with that being said, similar to a lot of people, with Joe Ingles, I think, I, I mean, maybe maybe we don't hamper expectations, but I think we've got to. I think we've got to slow our expectations down for the card. And if you're wondering why, well... Let me ask you guys this. When was the last time Joe John or Joe Ingles was good in my team? I, I said Joe Johnson accidentally. But when was the last time Joe Ingles was good in my team? That, that, that's something I want you guys to think about. And it's not that I'm sitting here slandering Joe Ingles because I, I don't think he deserves that. I think the card is fine in my team. But I'm just asking you guys, when was the last time he was good or useful in my team? I, I just don't think that it's been, uh, you know, of recent. I mean, I, I can't remember a time in which we've gotten a Joe in my team that's been elite. Now, one thing I will say is he's 6'8 with a 6'10 wingspan with an athletic boost. Now, 6'8 at the three, pretty tough. Okay, that's that's gonna be pretty tough. Now, movement, not gonna be great. He's got the normal, oh my gosh, this Joe Ingles is gonna be horrible. Do me a favor, okay? 
Shoot with Gordon Dragic and then go shoot with Joe Ingles. They, they're, they're polar opposites. I mean, Joe Ingles, he, uh, yeah, he's not going to be playable. Unless they change his release, which they're not going to be. When I say not playable, that's gassing it. His release is ugly, though. It kind of reminds me of Zion Williamson's release. It's just a little slower than Zion. So just picture that. Not going to be good or elite in my team. That's what you're looking at with Mr. Joe Ingles. Now, Evan Fournier up next. I got a random text from my brother last night saying, Todd, Evan Fournier's release is the best in the game. And I said, what? Like, what are, what are you talking about? I mean, in, 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 I will admit the Evan Fournier release, it's, um, it's, a, it's a release that's uh, easy to green. It's not necessarily the quickest in the game, though. And so for Evan Fournier, got to look at Michael Finley, Pedro Strakovich, Latrose Brewer, Aaron Brooks. All those cards have easy releases to green. Are they the quickest in the game, though? The answer is no, okay? It's going to be a decent, I don't want to say a slow release. It's just not necessarily going to be the quickest release in the game. And for a card in Evan Fournier, who's got the pro dribble style, 6'6", six, 6'8", six, six, wingspan. Again, a car, another card I feel like we need to hamper our expectations a little bit. Now, I know I'm really high on, uh, I'm personally really high on Gordon Josh. Okay, that's, that's me in general. And Evan Fournier, his release is not slow. I'm sorry for everybody that thinks Evan Fournier's release is slow. At least Evan Fournier based on himself. Maybe it's because the upper, it's not slow. It's absolutely chick in my team. So that's something to look at. And to go along with that for Evan Fournier, you got to remember, he is getting a defensive boost as well. So imagine an Evan Fournier with a defensive boost. If they give his driving dunk, which I don't know if they will, if his driving dunk tomorrow is an 85 or above, Evan Fournier is going to be an absolutely incredible budget shooting guard in my team. And the reason I'm saying all these cards are going to be budget shooting guards is they are. Every one of the Evo cards we saw last year, or last not last year, last season, was a budget card. But let me tell you guys, Evan Fournier is literally chicken in my team. Last, but certainly not least, okay, we got Hakeem Olajuwon, okay? Now, we don't have a Hakeem from this year, so we're going to have to go all the way back to uh, to last year. Let me go back to last year. And then we can, we, we, I can show you guys what I am thinking for a Hakeem Elijah one. So we're getting a Hakeem Elijah one that is glitch. It says glitch three point shooting Hakeem Elijah one tomorrow. Now, I expect a Hakeem Elijah one that is very close to what this card was. Okay. Maybe not quite as good, but pretty dang close. Why? Because we're starting to get cards with those seven Hall of Famers. And I'm just going to say this if we see a Hakeem Elijah one like this, that really changes things in the my team community because we don't have a center like this. I mean, I'm using Jermaine O'Neal right now, and I think the world of Jermaine. I love Jermaine O'Neal. But if we get a Hakeem Olajuwon that looks anything like this, it changes everything. I mean, obviously last year the set shot 18 was not one I loved, but this, this and I don't expect Hakeem Olajuwon to be quite this good because this Hakeem came out on November 24th, and we're nearly a month earlier. But I'm just, I'm just trying to get you guys get the thought process through of. If we see a good Hakeem Olajuwon or a Hakeem that looks like this, it changes the game, okay? First thing I'm going to notice with Hakeem Olajuwon, his release, much quicker than it was last year. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say Hakeem's got the best release in the game because I don't think he does. But it is quicker than last year. He basically, he kind of turns sideways. It's kind of a weird type of release. But it is a lot, it's basically last year's release. It just feels quicker. So, I mean, it's not necessarily baited as it has been in past years. Instead, I would say it's going to be decently easy to time and decently easy to green for a king. That's what I would say. It's better than a release like a Jermaine O'Neal. I would say it's pretty comparable to the Shaquille O'Neal release. So if you've used like an Alonzo Morning type card, it's kind of what to expect out of the release. Speed, I would say low 80s, three ball. Honestly, what I expect is Hakeem that can shoot maybe an upper 80s, low 90s three ball, but I expect his defensive stats to be way worse. That's what I'm expecting out of Hakeem. Because it is a glitch three point card, expect you know the speed not to be quite as good and the defense not to be quite as good. If we see the defense even close to this, you're probably looking at a center Hakeem Elijah one that's gonna play for at least like a month because his player model is good. He is going to be him in my team. So I am telling you guys, limit your expectations with Hakeem. Don't think he's going to be like this. But if he's anything close to that with what his release looks like and his player build, he is going to be him in my team. So overall, guys, we're getting a really good budget point guard in Gordon Dragic, an absolute sharpshooter with Evan Fournier, and maybe probably the best center in the game right now 
outside of like the Opal AD stuff like that. But that is gonna wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully each and every you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, subscribe if you are new and as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.